just picture thinking, dreaming, scheming. Reading all in the late night, shaking, boiling, lacing, baking, shaping, shaving. Gotta get this cake right as I serve it. You just burn it, breathe it, learn it. Now watch you take flight. How does it feel? Ah. On the road, looking for a win against the Western Conference rival, the Dallas Mavericks are ready for this thing to get started. Well, what better right, way to so spend a Monday today. night than with the 2K Sports what? team and the NBA? Well, anyways, after this game, Welcome, everyone. Houston, with Steve Rockets, Kerr and right? Clark Kellogg, this is and Kevin Hart. That game in the playoffs. So for the Jazz so, in this matchup, cool. they got to be feeling pretty good as they won that last outing against the Mavericks. Game. And that gives them a one-game advantage in this matchup this season. But, uh, Seemed like they hit yeah. every big shot they had in that game. Kevin, their, their offense was clicking, but really clutch in big moments. That's ideally the way you want it to unfold on the road, Steve. Don't even give the fans a chance to get into the game. So let's oh, take yeah. a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. It's Burke and Chandler up front. Monte is the two. Parsons playing the small forward. And it's Rondo in at the point. Here's Rondo after the made so, shot from Charles. Nowitzki so, sets a screen um, for Ellis. Played in with a nice Dallas touch off the glass. Ellis has got After his first bucket in this one. On oh, some weak oh, defensive really coverage good. there. And I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving oh. such easy yeah. access to the rim. Here's the captain. Burks, the basket, Charles. Oh, second oh, yeah. shot opportunity. A nice shot by Booker. You know, the height difference there is huge, right. but he canceled it out with great body control in the air. Exactly, Steve. So he got to the hoop and wouldn't start. allow himself to be manhandled by the big boy. We're gonna be now, here's Ellis. Boy, he was something else against the Lakers. Chandler inside. Get that out of here. Rejected by Charles. Get it. Get the ball. Exum gets to Hayward. Get a shot. Get a shot. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Burks off a pick from Charles. The pass to Exum. Six on the shot clock. And that misses. That would have put him up. The Mavericks have gone two or three uh, here to start out the game. Well, Dallas coach Rick Carlisle has demonstrated his versatility throughout his coaching stops in Detroit, Indiana, and Dallas. Not really a system coach. He adapts to uh, the talent that he has oh, on each individual team hey, and goes pass that out. Pass it. The shot okay. is off. Good work defensively by Nowitzki. Let's send it out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Rick Carlisle. Doris? Yes, Kevin, and Coach wanted to stress to his team tonight that their one win in three tries came when they pushed the issue on the offensive end, saying, listen, we're going to look to push the ball and be aggressive on offense every chance we get. We have the talent to play them up and down okay. the floor, so that's what we're going to do. Should be a fast pace, guys. Okay, Doris, well, the offensive approach, a primary force in the game plan today, okay. guys. It's, it's cool. As it should it's cool. be, Kevin. Cool. They're the type of team where if they can one. get their offense Flash. clicking, everything else falls into place. Exactly. For them, more than most teams, so much depends on the effectiveness of their offense. It usually is the beginning of their best defense. Now, here's Ellis. Averaging 19 points per contest. And Parsons okay. gets it to go. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. So for Dallas, their last game, a win against the Los Angeles Lakers. They looked very stable, pretty much from the get-go, guys. A solid oh. output, solid effort. And, uh, you know, oh, sometimes sorry. you'll see some inconsistencies again, so, come up in a road game. You know, but of course, I had they were to pretty solid there. Take the I was very impressed with the balance they displayed, guys. Different people carrying oh, yeah, the load, scoring, making assists, unselfish play. Okay. Everything was working for them to get that victory. Now Ellis, after the miss three from Charles, tries from 10, and that one's good. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Okay. Exum off a bit from go. Charles. Pass. Oh, yes. And yes, sir, that one works. The captain's got five now. Mavericks leading by three. Man, I don't know how. Outside I Rondo, pass to Parsons. It's cool. It's cool. One fifty-three left to play here in the first. Now the feed to Nowitzki. 
Count the bucket. Nowitzki's got his first points of the night. Man, we're losing. Well, Dirk Nowitzki well, may be the best mid-range jump shooter in the league, and he's been that way for a long time. Substitution on the You're up. Let's go. Time to do my thing. There's 10 seconds left to play in the first. And I'm out. Come on. Felton man. kicks to Aminu. Back That's to Felton. Cool. One second left. And so the first quarter is in the books. We're getting ready to start up. So I got you guys, what's your take so far on the maps? How about the like three-point shooting? The scoring has really come in bunches from long range. Yeah, it seems like oh, every yeah. time down the floor, they're knocking I'm down right the here. triple. On the court for Dallas here in the second, they've got Levitsky, Chandler Parsons out there with Aminu, and there's hey, J.J. Barea, and it's Harris in at the two spot. Mavericks out, leading by three. For some reason, you can hear my voice. I don't know why I take my mic Here is Barea. Harris outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Harris. To the left wing. Oh, yeah. It's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Well, who's had the hot hand from the two position over the last ten games? Highest field goal percentages um, right here on the 2K leaderboard. Well, you look at Burks, fourth in the league and as consistent as they come. Well, in tight or outside, these are all very reliable, very consistent shooters. You know, it's a safe option to put the ball in their hands and let them create something for themselves. I'd say it's beyond a safe option. It's a great option. The ISO play was made for these guys. All they need is just a little room to operate, and you can count it up. Buckets. Mm, buckets. I like that. Here's Charles. Can't hit. Oh, and it's Mar Dallas the other that. way. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Ellis with it. Now defended by Exum. Ellis kicks to Nowitzki. Oh, yes. He's waiting for me. Nowitzki lets up. And it yes. hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Jazz trail by three. Well, you know, the Mavericks got back into the playoffs last season after missing the playoffs in the third what? This is a team that expects to be a playoff <laughs> factor. Aside from that one season, oh, yes. they've not missed the playoffs since 2000. I had to, man. Now Berea. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Nowitzki a screen. Just five on the clock. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And you look at the legacy of success for the Mavs. You have to go back to 2000 to find the last time they had a losing season. Oh, yes. Even in 2013, what they term a disappointing year. They went five in the cutthroat Western Second Conference. Pretty one. impressive. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris right. Burke. Doris, over to you. Hey, guys. The captain in their last game against the Trailblazers ended up having a lot of trouble. He notched a few points and sounds as well. He had just a really rough shooting night, and the rim seemed to have a lid on it for him. We'll see if the lid's been lifted here, guys. You're bringing it, There's Doris. Thank you so much. Thanks for that report. And I know Clarky was pretty disappointed in that performance. And as a result, Kevin, I know we'll see I mean, him more focused here. I mean, he does not like to lose or play poor. And sometimes in the NBA, that's what happens. You have a bad one, and it refocuses you. You know, an 82-game schedule, where is you down? Oh, man, no threes. Come on. But what if I'm open, you know? Put pressure on shooter. And a little under two and a half minutes though? gone by Absolutely. here in the second quarter. Well, if we're down by three. Are you looking how much ownership can impact the team's fortunes the first well, 20 years for the Mavericks? Too. They cracked 506 cool. times. But what the said. they've done it in every season <laughs> under current ownership. Well, I know his ownership is important, part of it, but come on now. All right, have third and he yeah. has a lot to do with that <laughs> winning record well as well. Said, well but no, no question about it. The Mavericks are clearly a first-rate franchise, and everybody from ownership on down can take pride in that. Dallas moving it around. Aminu with it, looking for his first basket still in this one. Shot clock at five. Rondo drives in. Oh, that's blocked. Good. No. Nowitzki's got it all tied up now for Dallas. Ah, hurt. Well, the Utah Jazz, they come in off a loss to the Trailblazers in Portland. 
They just couldn't get the ball in the basket that day, guys. No matter how many plays you make at the defensive end, it's hard to overcome such a, a lack of production offensively. Yeah, the high quality yeah, shots were few and far between for them, and not selfish, they have man. nobody to blame but themselves. They need to work a lot harder to get good shots today. Rondo dishes to Parsons. Yes. Nowitzki kicks to Parsons. That drops, and it comes what? off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Eight points for Chandler Parsons. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the okay. aggressors, Clark. And okay. Getting the ball inside, into that lane area has that. been huge for them. Chandler Parsons, really a nice fit in Dallas. He gives them a much-needed three-point shooter alongside Nowitzki. He also what, but has it just the says athleticism and ball handling to slash that. inside and okay, create shots for others. Next him off a pick from Charles. Here's Booker, and there's a nice one-handed slam. Boy, taking it hard to the rack for the big throw down. And give an unofficial assist, Clark, to his teammate for setting the screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Kevin. That was really the key to the play. 13%. Nowitzki, the pass to Parsons. Wow, man, 2K. Nowitzki left side. Outside Rondo. Right side Rondo. Blocked. Here's Hayward, who's covered by Aminu. Yes. That is good. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. So and when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Is that? Rondo dishes to Ellis. Outside Rondo. Snap, snap. And Aminu kicks to Rondo. Novitsky inside. Oh, the basket no drops, way. saying it's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, wow. but he's got it going now. <laughs> wow, so teams coach. Dialed in from long range. I like it. Okay, okay. And, uh, this year, 88% on the season. <sighs> Impressive. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Jazz out in front. All right, so listen up, everybody. Better. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first. If we. All right, uh, let's see. It's one of the paint. No, I don't say that. It's been All quite right. a game for Chandler Parsons. So, uh, you know, he spoils us with his performances game in I'll and game out. And so far, just another big scoring night for him. Typically, when he puts no, up that playing. many points in the first half, he's going to gonna follow it up nice, with a better second half. We'll sure see if that happens here. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the four for Utah. Burks the off guard with Hayward at the three. The captain out there with Trevor Booker. And it's Exum in at the point. The dish to Hayward. Oh, for real? So he's just going to... Passes it to Charles. Parsons oh, with the rebound. Parsons got five Darn rebounds man. tonight. Ellis, the pass to Rondo. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Ellis now, has got a four assists game, now tonight. Mark and Steve, this uh, game has a lot of character here good. in the third period. Yeah, you know what, guys? I love seeing this type of action. A competitive, compelling matchup. Oh, yes. A lot of lead changes here in. so far. Yeah, six in total, Clark. So this has been a, a great game. Oh, yeah, past that. Both teams playing hard and really competing out there. A nice shot by Booker. And here's Rondo, averaging eight, eight points, points a game. Eight points in the third quarter. Not really that good. And Nowitzki is screen. Come on. Parsons on the wing. Nowitzki sets a screen for Parsons. From the wing. And there's Dirk Nowitzki on the assist from Parsons. Parsons got three assists tonight. Utah trailing here. So I'm going to try for sure to show you guys my Feeds to Booker. Burks the pass to Charles. Oh, he yes. kicks it to Burks. No. You know what? I can't pass it. Here's the captain. Eight points for him. Offline from the high post. Really? And they've been off target now on what three of the first four shots they've taken.